This is my 1.6 HDI Peugeot Partner uh, Engine 2007 M59 model, roughly about 103,000 uh, miles. So this is a video on uh, how to recalibrate or reconfigure or recode uh, your EGI valve in these engines using Diagbox and this uh, particular interface with a laptop. Uh, stay tuned. So this is my spare uh, EGI valve that I um, uh, remove from the car, uh, replace it with a new one. So that's that's the old one, but it's just for illustrative purposes to show. So if you have cleaned uh, your EGR valve, cleaned inside out, and if you want to see how to do on on these engines, you can see this video here. So if you have cleaned it, you don't need to do any recalibration, any configuration, nothing. You just basically clean it and put it back in it to work. Uh, of course, if it's not broken. But if you're replacing your, your old EGR valve with a new valve, you really need to recalibrate it, reconfigure it, recode it, uh, any of these uh, terms. What basically this does, let me remove that. So there is a, a, a channel here that goes, uh, that rotates, uh, not too sure you can see it, channel that goes up and down. So this closes the valve inside. I mean, hopefully you can see it, but Probably not. Uh, hopefully it's visible how it moves. I mean, there is a valve. Um, there is a valve. Uh, th th there is a piston. This piston here. Uh, this piston um, that goes from there to there. It's and there is a valve underneath that that closes, uh, so it doesn't let gases to go through from the engine and the air intake and closes and and, and opens. So the ECU of the engine really needs to know where this position is and when it puts, for example, the ECU wants 30% EGI valve, when it knows that, if it moves it uh, as much as it needs to move it to get these 30%. So the engine, uh, so the ECU needs to know where is the minimum, where is the maximum position uh, of here. So in general, you might be just lucky if you get a new EGR valve, uh, you put it in, don't recall, don't reconfigure anything. The ECU will have these measurements from the old EGR valve. It might it might work, uh, but it might not work. It might be stuck slightly on the open or slightly on the close, so you might not notice anything. But you might have a rough idle or uh, difficult to start with with a new EGR valve that hasn't been recalibrated or hasn't been configured. But you might not have uh, any problems whatsoever. So this is really a video how to recalibrate, how to reconfigure uh, a brand new EGI valve, not the uh, one that you have cleaned with a with a laptop with Diagbox, Diagbox software PP2000 for Peugeot and and Lexia uh, for Citrons. And that's my uh, uh, that's my uh, interface device, the Diagbox interface device. It looks. Uh, it looks like that. It's got the EOBD on one side and it's got a USB uh, on the other side. It's pretty long cable. It looks quite original, but it's really cheap. Made in China device and they're all really almost the same. So if you want to do stuff on your car, you want to recalibrate your EGI valve, uh, buy the cheapest uh, possible of these. So next thing is to show what I'm using and uh, to re recalibrate or reconfigure uh, my EGI valve on this car. So this is my uh, setup. I'm using uh, MacBook Pro laptop uh, with um, Parallels desktop, but you can use any laptop with any Windows laptop or anything. Or you can use a virtual machine. I'll have a link to a virtual machine in, in the description of the video. And I'm using Windows XP Home Edition. So the DX box really works on uh, with uh, Windows XP. You cannot use anything higher. I mean, could potentially use Windows 7, but uh, I'm really using uh, Windows XP, so let me uh, enter full screen just to uh, just to be easier. So I've plugged it in the car. I haven't um, uh, flicked the switch or anything. I've plugged it in the EOB, EOBD uh, port, and basically we have to just start uh, the DX box. Uh, will just open. So I generally say no to updates. And my car is a Peugeot, so I'll click on Peugeot. Then it's a partner. And it's partner 2 or M59 version. So for for, for Peugeot, I would go to Planet uh, uh, Peugeot Planet 2000. And the dumb number, uh, it's a 
uh, vehicle where is it produced what year uh, for mine it's 11 202 but you can find it on the side of the door when you open it where the the pressure of the tire uh, where the pressure for the tires are there is a the, the dumb number is there uh, click on that um, does it have a centralized yes it does have a centralized socket and of course you switch on the ignition on the second click and click ok and it, it does vehicle identification and, and configuration so we'll read my uh, VIN number on the upper right here it will appear I'll, I'll probably block it because it's just uh, not to be visible so it generally is a good idea to do a quick um, check if there are any errors uh, in the car so we go in ECU configuration I can do a global test just to see if there's anything um, out of the ordinary so I've switched already the ignition is switched on so I just press OK and this will be slightly shortened uh, just because it will take a while but I just leave it So that's it, the uh, the test, the global test finished and I don't really uh, have any faults, uh, nothing's out of the ordinary, I'm going with the arrows, uh, but that's a good test just to see if anything's out there. So in order to recalibrate the EGR valve, you have to exit of this menu, um, and then this is the, the, the initial menu that, that you're able to see, and you go on replacement parts, double click on that, then one needs to go to the injection system uh, it's down here you can click ok or double click on that and mine is you have to know what your um, uh, code for your engine is mine is nhx uh, so i can double click on that and then of course you have here several options uh, I, we, uh, I'm interested in the electric EGR valve replacement I'll show where this EGR mixer butterfly replacement is uh, once I finish that uh, but you one needs to go to the electric EGR valve replacement click OK on that so then it says switch off ignition and switch it on again so I switch it off now and switch it back on and then of course click OK and switch off the ignition I've switched it off so I can click OK I'll switch it back on again while it to continue so I have to click on again switch off the ignition wait for 30 seconds so I have to wait for 30 seconds now so I waited a bit more than 30 seconds so I'll click OK so it's probably moving it up and down and then trying to figure out where these positions are And then uh, that's done, so I can switch the ignition on and click OK. Switch off the ignition again. And then back on again. And that's it. Our operation is finished. It has recalibrated the GR valve. It's pretty simple as long as you have the, the software, it's extremely easy. You just have to find you know the menu where it is in replacement parts the ignition system and then you have to know the code of your engine minus 9 hhx and then of course the uh, the electric EGR valve repair. so i can click ok with that and of course now i can test uh, the EGR valve just to see that it's operating uh, correctly so i can go to ECU and configuration services, then I can go uh, test by uh, ECU, I can go to engines and automatic gearbox, I can go to diesel, 9HX is my, um, uh, so then I can go actuator tests, miscellaneous tests, and then I can um, test the electric uh, EGR valve, so I can do a quick test on that, click OK on that, and then basically it tells you listen to the to the noise uh you can you can hear it but you cannot i cannot do it on the video we can hear how it's uh, going up and down this little pin uh in the egr valve so you can so no faults detected so that's actually all right and then you you press this a circular button to go outside uh you can test the turbo pressure solenoid valve here or the egr butterfly um Solenoid, I can have a quick uh, 
check on that. Uh, but that also is all right. And that's again the menu. So I can close that one and just exit. And um, that's it. That's how you can reconfigure, recalibrate a UGR. It's pretty simple, really. Uh, and this is how you can <laughs> recalibrate your EGF off. It's pretty simple as long as you have uh, this tool, um, the DX box uh, interface that has the EOBD uh, port, and of course USB uh, on the other side, it's pretty long cable. It's, it's that particular device. I mean, mine is fairly old. I bought it 2012. Um, so the electric EGF valve, this is the recalibration of the electric EGF valve behind the uh, uh, the airbox and the uh, EGF, EGR uh, butterfly mixer is, is, is that particular part here. It's got a flap inside. This is past the uh, the intercooler, so you can replace that part and you have to recalibrate that one as well. These are the two things that are not entirely plug and play. You don't replace it and, and put it back in together. So this is a video how to do that hopefully that is useful to someone how to recalibrate the valve i mean if you replace a new valve it might it might be all right uh, you might you don't need if, if the car is absolutely fine drives fine you don't have a, a problem with an idle or doesn't start well then you don't really need to recalibrate it but you have this problem once you've replaced um, the valve you need to really recalibrate it uh, Thank you very much indeed for watching. Hopefully that's useful to someone. I'll probably have a video of how to install the software and, and, and how to use it. Thank you very much indeed uh, for watching.